our um, Windows machine, which I'm calling Windurance, is now available. Um, I've grabbed the root password, well, I'll just grab it again. We now need to get access to this machine, so I will bring up uh, remote, yeah, Microsoft RDP. Perfect, um, I shall add Windurance. Windurance. It's on 159.8.1. One two four administrator. Oops, better put a capital A and put the password in. Uh, don't want full screen. Okay, Windurance start. Click yes or continue, and then it will access our Windows. 2012 machine. Lovely. And you get the dashboard, which is fine. So we want to um, add roles and features. Want to go in there? So we're going to do exactly the same again. Ah, before I set up this uh, machine, and let me try and get this window to be within the other window. Uh, before I do that, I've just remembered, given it asked me for roles and access straight away, I want to go to our storage. And I want to add Windurance now as the machine in here. I've left the same storage up. We might as well just reuse it. It's already there. Um, so I'm going to authorize a host. And we're going to choose Windurance, just like we did before. OK, give that a second. Done. Right. Lovely. Um, roles and service, okay, say next, next, next on the roles, features is what we want, go down to, um, oh, have I just missed it there completely? MPIO, sorry I did miss it completely, multipath IO. That's fine. Install it. Yeah, and just get that installing. So that's going to install the Multipath I.O. That's uh, similar, I guess, to the uh, yum install of uh, Multipath that we did on the Linux server. Once that's up and running, and in a similar way, I'm going to bring up Notepad um, or text edit. In a similar way that we did to um, on the... Uh, did on the Linux server on the knowledge layer slash uh, sorry dot soft layer dot com uh, procedure procedure slash accessing block storage Microsoft Windows. So if you go to that link, knowledgelayer.softlayer.com slash procedure slash accessing minus block minus storage minus Microsoft minus Windows, you will find the installation instructions for this. That's all installed there, which is fine. Um, it now tells you to open up the MPIO um, properties, which we do from here. Whoops. Server Manager Dashboard, you go over to Tools, MPIO, swing back again, MPIO Properties. It tells you to discover multi-pads, so we will do this. Add support for iSCSI devices, add that. Yep, reboot. Okay, so join me in a second when that comes back to us. Um, we now, and we've all rebooted, so we now need to go and do the, whoops, SCSI initiator. And that's going to be over here somewhere. Here we go. Yes, we want to run it. 
Yeah, there it is. Sorry, I'm probably making you ill moving that around. Um, right, so we want to go to configuration and we want to fill in where our IQN, it always comes up with one in there. We want to fill in our one. And is this one I filled in earlier? But you get it from here. IQN, copy that. So we want to change that. And we want to put our one in. Okay, click OK. That's fine. Once we've done that, we want to click on the Discovery tab. And in Discovery, we want to tell it where our portal is. So we want to discover our portal. And this is our IP address. Okay. You can tell I'm not as familiar with Windows. Much more a Linux guy. Um, go OK. Ah, oh, I didn't want to go OK. That's going to hang now. I wanted to go Advanced. I think that will just hang. Okay. Authentication failure. That's fine. Good. It hung on that. Discover portal. Put in our IP address and click on advanced. Good. I'm glad it actually came back with something I thought it was going to hang for good. Um, we want to enable a chat logon. And we want to put in our username and password. So there's our username. Oops. Paste and our password. Okay. And now we should. Yep, yeah, good. We didn't get any messages. Excellent. So we're all authenticated into chat. Now we need to go to targets. It's inactive at the moment. That's what we would expect. We click connect. Enable multipath. Advanced chat. We've got the password still in here, I believe. And then take our username and put that in as well. And OK. OK. We're connected. Excellent. So iSCSI initiator is connected. Now we can go to properties, okay, add session, enable multipath, advanced, chat, and away we go again. I've got the username in there already and the password. Enable chat, good, that's okay. Okay, excellent, we've got two sessions, that's what we wanted to see. Click on devices, where are we? MPIO, perfect. So we've got our multi-path and we're in. I'm gonna click on MPIO, 
round robin, that's absolutely fine, that's what we want to see. We've got our two devices, that's excellent. Okay, okay. And that's it, it's all configured, it's where we were before. Um, now we want to mount the uh, storage. And uh, to do that, of course, we're going to create a file system on there because we now have block storage on here. So if we go to Disk Manager, um, which may well be down here. Whoops, didn't want to go into Control Panel, really. System Manager, that's where I want to be. Nope. You can really tell I'm not a Windows guy. This is where I want to be, Disk Management. Okay. Initialize the disk. That's our new disk. There it is, 20 gig. And now we want to uh, create a new simple volume on there. Well, we'll make it the whole disk. Assign it to, uh, let's call it Z drive. NTFS will do fine. Perform a quick format, finish. Done, and that's it. It will then appear as Z Drive up on our server once that's finished. And uh, that's how you get iSCSI block storage working on the Windows machine to go with our, um, there you go, you see it's appeared up here, formatting at the moment, um, to go along with our Linux machine. So not too much more complex, but a little bit fiddly going in and out of all the different menus, um, but other than that, there you go. That's endurance storage. Same things apply, the snapshots, the replicas to uh, foreign sites. It's all exactly as, as it would be for the Linux machine. So I'll pause there for a second and just wrap up once that's up and available. So, there you go. Um, it's finished. I said I'd be back. Here I am. Um, there it is, our new Z volume. 20 gig MPI owed from our endurance storage. So we now have a new file system in there. Um, let me just slim these down, go to our standard file system viewer. There you go. And again, my apologies for probably making you feel slightly ill going around all these windows. Um, we can go here and we can see there's our new volume. Double click on it, it's empty at the moment, but our new volume is up and running. Um, like I said, that's pretty much it. That's endurance storage um, on Linux and then on Windows. So feel free to go in and you know try out software. Come and have a go at uh, endurance storage. Um, my name's Eamon Killian. I'm doing this short set of tutorials on how to get used to using IBM software. I hope these videos are useful um, and thanks very, very much to all those who uh, have watched them. I think almost 11,000 views now. So thank you very much.